Hello everybody, Super Tim101 here, and welcome back to another episode of Timber Wolf Tuesday. Happy Halloween! Today we're gonna to be going over the Timber Wolf C, and I'm actually gonna be using the champion variant of it. I wanted to draw people's attention to this because even though it was in the patch notes, not everyone seems to know about it, it doesn't get talked about a lot. But there is a change that happened to the champion variants like this one. And the Timberwolf C champion was given out, I think, last year, maybe 2021. So if you've been playing for a while, you should have this mech. But the change is you actually get an, an XP bonus of 50% and a C bill bonus of 50%. So it used to be just an XP bonus of 30%, but they half that and give you half of that back as a C bill bonus. So if you have something like a champion variant, uh, the, of the various mechs, it's not just an XP bonus anymore, it's also a, um, a Siebel bonus. So where that might actually come in handy is if you have a mech that you really, really like to play, but it is not a hero mech and it is not a platinum mech, uh, but it is a, a champion mech, you can actually buy the champion mech with MC and use it to help you grind Siebels with the benefit of grinding XP as well. So what, what grinding XP does is give you sort of general XP here, uh, which you can convert to skill points on any particular mech. So it does, just because you have an XP bonus doesn't mean you're gonna be suddenly raking in the, uh, the general XP. This takes a long time to grind, but having that extra 50% uh, XP bonus as, and you're getting the 50% the Siebel bonuses, it actually uh, just helps helps the grind. And so, if you are sort of strapped for uh, for Seabills, but you have this Timberwolf C champion mech, you can use that to both grind for XP and grind for Seabills. And, you know, if you have a bunch of mechs already, uh, but a lot of them don't have uh, full skills uh, and you're out of general skill points, which hopefully you're getting in this loot bag event. Uh, but if you are out of them, you can use this mech or another champion mech to help you grind more general XP uh, to help uh, offset the cost of uh, those general skill points. So just something I thought was interesting and I think it makes the champion variants a little bit more attractive. I actually went ahead and purchased another champion variant just because I, I really like the mech, but there's not another C build boosted version of it. Uh, and I'm able to use one of my favorite builds and now get a little bit of extra back. Not that I need the C builds. It's just um, I've gotten to the point where now you know, I was so strapped for Seabills for so long because I like to purchase engines and mechs and even though I don't use them, that uh, it sort of ingrained in me now that I need to uh, optimize my Seabill earnings. But you don't have to be that way. I just thought it was interesting that you now get Seabills with the champion variants. So uh, with all that said, we are using the, uh, the C variant today, but we are using it in a very similar way as a lot of other sort of meta Timberwolves with the uh, with the big laser pod in its left torso and the charlie variant has the laser or the energy hard point in the center torso as well so um with all that said let's jump into the mech lab and see what we're running so i run something very similar to this on the hero variant the timber wolf warrant because the warrant has in the center torso instead of this energy hard point it has a five percent uh energy dissipation so it helps you be able to fi fire more often because you're dissipating heat better. Uh, and I actually might change it to something like this because I found that this was effective. So on the warrant, I run um, these the three ER larges in the Timberwolf A left torso, and then five ER small lasers because I, what I wanted was more of a knife fighting weapon. So if I get pushed, I have something that can, uh, can help push off the, the light or whatever that's attacking me. Um, for this one, I wanted to be like, well, uh, why don't we just double down on the range and go with the ER medium lasers? So, actually, uh, six ER medium lasers, which is nothing to sneeze at by itself, plus the ER larges. So it is a very hot mech, 1.4 heat management, uh, but it doesn't have jump jets. Well, th so that is the biggest thing. If you want jump jets, you need the Timberwolf S uh, variant for the center torso that has the the jump jet in, in it. If you really wanted to, you could drop the ECM for jump jets uh, using the Timberwolf S again right torso, but I really like the ECM, especially for quick play. It helps people not see you. Uh, and also something that uh, really annoys me, which is part of the point of ECM, is that you have trouble getting locks on them, which means you have trouble finding out 
where they're damaged to shoot which components, which I think is uh, is a really, really positive part of UCM. It's a very powerful tool, and it's you, if you have it, you should use it. So, But with this, I did have some issues with mobility at times, so just keep that in mind. If you, if you like the mobility of the Timberwolves because of the jump jets, uh, this doesn't offer it to you, but it does offer the ECM. You can always, again, use the Timberwolf uh, Sigma center torso, but it doesn't give you the the six energy hard point for your either the medium laser or your small laser. So that is the build. Let's jump into the skills and see what we are running there. So we've got a uh, full heat gen because it is spicy, full range because you tend to be you want to be at range at the beginning of the fight with your ER larges sort of cool down as a dump stat. You might be able to put that into maybe overheat damage. I did a lot of damage to myself playing these games uh, with uh, with all the en energy hard points. Uh, I also, of course, went laser duration because it's a laser violent mech. Full skeletal density and armor hardening. Full cool run and heat containment. Uh, full seismic sensor. Uh, the two ECM nodes, the one radar deprivation, the advanced zoom, and the two cool shots with a UAV. Pretty standard stuff for a Super Tim Timberwolf video. I've got one game for you today. It is Halloween. I hope you have a great Halloween. I hope you enjoy the video. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target spotted. He's putting even way more damage to me. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. He's in my way, as usual. Target spotted. Uh, New target up, acquired. Target spotted. to tell you target spotted oh no I'm just gonna get hit from everything cool target spotted target oh, spotted that's what I wanted it's really what I wanted new target acquired I'm taking so much return fire. New target acquired. Target spotted. Fast, that's good. Target destroyed. Oh, I got that one. Amazing. New it's totally deserved. Acquired. Hope that wasn't a friend. Target spotted. New target acquired. New target acquired. Oh, come on. Target spotted. Cool, that's what I wanted, totally what I wanted.
Enemy base is being captured. New target, target acquired. Heat level critical. Target spotted. Target spotted. Enemy base is being captured. Target spotted. Enemy base is being captured. Friends, I'm gonna push him. Target spotted. Heat level critical. Pretty good burn. Should be able to kill him. Target destroyed. Right. Need assistance. Enemy base is being captured. Target spotted. Alright guys, let's push across the water. Target acquired. Target spotted. Heat level critical. Target spotted. Need assistance. New target acquired. Heat level critical. This guy. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. New target acquired. He put up a good fight. Target spotted. Enemy Juliet Waller Lord Stalin. Target spotted. I have good lines here for my ear largest. Oop, I just spotted. New target acquired. Ooh. Heat level critical. UAV activated. Target acquired. Target, spotted. Target destroyed. Nice. Uh, they got my leg and screwed. Alright. Target acquired. Target oh. destroyed. Cool. Snowball. Here we go. Target acquired. Heat level critical. Target spotted. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Override shutdown. Heat level critical. Override shutdown. Target destroyed. Need assistance. Here. Enemy base is being Don't captured. Feed. Target. Great help, Charlie here. Need assistance. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Override shutdown. Hope I guess. Felt sweaty, even though the numbers are 12 and 5. Felt sweaty. Brawling in the middle of the city there. Alright, not bad at all. I wanted to do just a brief recap of that game. Uh, I was able to do a lot of the damage at range, even if it was outside of my optimum range, shooting from the upper city uh, across. I did take a lot of return fire, so I wasn't actually winning my trades. It wasn't a great trade, but luckily, so that was like, I was kind of out of position for that. So, but luckily my team kind of pushed into the airport area and uh, pushed those other sort of guys I was trading with off. And then I noticed that there was a, a blip over in near our spawn. So uh, my team and I so went over there. That was the Shadow uh, Shadowhawk, the scatter shot. We were able to kill him. 
And then uh, there was another mech there. We killed him. We pushed across the water. It felt like it could have gone either way when we were fighting that uh, that uh, scatter shot. It really felt like if we don't get this guy dead quick and push over and help our team, things could go bad quickly. And uh, I think it was actually, you know, the score was 12-5, but I think it could have gone either way at that particular moment. But we were able to get across. They had just so many assault mechs in the lower city. They had a lot of damage output potential. Um, and you saw that I didn't have great lines once I got into the city, so that's sort of where this mech has some struggles. It needs those clean lines to get your laser burns where they need to go. They can't really pop tart, or not pop tart because you don't have jump jets, but you can't really sort of uh, scoot in, shoot, and scoot out. Uh, you really have to have sort of long laser burns. So, uh, but I was able to push. You can do a lot of damage. It has a like a 69 alpha, which is nice. Uh, it's very hot, but you can alpha for a pretty high amount which means you can get off components, especially later in the game, that are exposed. So it was a lot of fun. I like this kind of build that has the, the long range mixed with some of the mid range stuff. Uh, most of the engagements happen at mid range, so even your long range stuff will come online there. But it's a good mech. Uh, remember those XP bonus and now a C bill bonus. So it might be useful for some people who are farming those C bills. So that was the mech. That was the game. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you like this kind of content, Think about subscribing. Thanks and have a great Halloween.